Hey guys, um, so today I thought I'd touch base with you a little bit because I've been doing this for so long but I don't think I've done a video just talking about what equipment I use and like how I film my videos and how I vlog and then editing it and also I think Instagram's such a big part of being a blogger and YouTuber and um, you know like it, it's all putting your image out there. Why not share? I don't know, I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I'm just going to share with you guys, hopefully quite swiftly, how I film, my setup, what I film with, editing, a little bit of editing because it can be really in depth and um, a little bit of Instagram and I can't think of what else to share but if I think of anything else along the way I will share that with you guys. Okay, so my main channel videos, I obviously used to use so many ridiculous things. Like I started using a cam, a, a webcam. At the moment I use a 700D, a Canon 700D, um, and I use a Sigma lens. I will write it in the video here what lens it is because I always forget the numbers. I also use an external mic so that the sound quality is a little bit better, but it does make a massive difference and I just picked one up from Amazon. So then around me, um, I used to use natural light for quite a few years actually, and then I invested in some lighting just from eBay um, and I think I was just watching a Pixie Wu video one time and they were talking about what they use and then I just went and I was like oh, I need that so I got this double pack of lights uh, from eBay and they came to about £100 for two these soft boxes um, and they've lasted me so long. So for main channel videos you don't have to spend tons and tons of money to make videos. Um, but I just feel like with a lot of camera equipment and uh, lighting and all that jazz, you get what you pay for in a way. So I really wanted my videos to have you know, to improve in quality. Also, it's the different lenses that usually do that. Rather than going and spending loads on a, a really, really jazzy camera, it's the lenses that will give you that really cool kind of professional look. So I actually found my lens on eBay and I was so, so happy because this lens is actually really expensive. So check eBay for secondhand lenses, check uh, like camera shops for secondhand lenses. It's just great to save a, a bit of money and they still work really well. And oh, I also have a tripod. I went from balancing on books and shelves to using a tripod. Um, the tripod I was using before this one I found in a charity shop. That's it for my main channel videos. I'm also gonna cover slightly my blog. So if you guys haven't seen my blog, I blog. <laughs> and I usually post outfit photos, uh, sometimes do makeup posts, reviews, um, but it's mainly fashion um, and a lot of the time I get asked what camera I use for my blog. Um, so that is a bit mix and match but most of the time uh, we use Jason's camera. Jason has this camera, Canon 6D. He doesn't usually use this lens, this is a macro lens. We usually use the lens that I'm filming with, the Sigma one, for this camera. For filming my main videos I prefer having a camera with a screen that flips out and the only reason I don't use his one for filming is because it doesn't have a flip out screen. You can get a program, which I think comes with the camera anyway, where you can see it on your computer screen as you film, so don't let that put you off, I'm just quite anal about having a flip out screen. This camera is amazing, um, it fits more, a lot more in frame than my 700D does, but my 700D is really good for price point and for I think it's very good quality. The quality of this is better than the one I have for photos, it's, like, it's really really good. Um, it's quite it's quite a close model to the 5D, which is what a lot of professional photographers use. It's a really, really good camera. Uh, what I want is the Canon <clears throat> uh, 5D Mark III, and then also I want like a 50mm lens. It's all, it all gets very confusing. <laughs> okay, then for when I'm vlogging, when I'm out and about, and I'm doing mostly my second channel videos, um, and I'm holding the camera up in public, and I'm doing the vlog, vlog thing, um, I've been using this recently, and again, I've gone through <laughs> again, I've gone through so many different vlogging cameras, and again, I like a flip out screen. So, this one is the Canon G1X. The only thing is, I don't think a lot of other vloggers would use this camera because it's really heavy. It's, um, I personally love it, and I don't mind the weight that much. So really easy to use. I just find it handy for, you know, with the screen, and I'm gonna do a bit now. So I find it really handy. The only thing is you don't want to look up too much while you're filming because it's distracting and everyone's like, okay, so I try and look there. <laughs> but I like this, I think it's really good quality. Um, and I think it catches light really well as well. So anyway, I'm gonna flip you round and carry on. I think that's everything for cameras and all that jazz. Um, and then I thought I'd just mention what I, by the way, my phone case is from Skinny Dip.
use to do my Instagram posts and stuff like that. So I will do a little close up so you guys can see my screen properly. Um, I have the iPhone 6 Plus. Right, so I take most of my Instagram photos on my phone, but sometimes I'll take some from these cameras and then just, you know, transfer them onto my computer, onto my phone. The first app that I'll go to is ViscoCam, which I love. I go on to edit, then I usually scroll over to S2. Um, that's usually what I use for my most of my photos like a lot of my selfie ones and a lot of Scenery photos and things like that. Honestly, that's the main one that I use sometimes I'll use others like C1 M5 I always usually adjust the um, exposure the um, con Contrast sometimes the temperature sometimes I'll add a little bit of fade I usually sharpen quite a lot and I just kind of play around until I think it looks nice and it, it really depends on the photo so I don't have one set you know edit that I do to all my photos and then I'll export and then to put my border onto it I use Afterlight the app Afterlight just select the frame the frame one at the bottom go in original and then the square type and then make the frame as big as I want it and then I just upload that to Instagram and that's pretty much it. The only other one I do use sometimes is pimple eraser for getting rid of spots. <laughs> um, just being real with y'all. And then for editing my videos what I use now always is Final Cut Pro X which is it's not a cheap piece of equipment, but because YouTube and blogging is my job, um, it's well worth the money. And if you want to, if you are getting quite good on the old iMovie and Windows Movie Maker, and then you want to step it up a notch in what you can do and everything, I recommend Final Cut Pro. It's really easy to use for the most basic cut um, editing is just the cut tool just for cutting the clips where you want to get rid of sections and then just delete um, and then you can add fancy things like you know fades in and out and text and, but it's really easy you literally just drag it in from the side there's a box at the side that has all the effects um, and everything that you could add in then you also have a box for where your clips are and where photos are and it's kind of the things that you're importing um, and then you just drag them onto the timeline. Also on Final Cut Pro, I think the trim tool is very, uh, very useful because you can, well, it's just like it says, you can trim everything exactly how you want it and it's just a really handy little tool. And then music, yeah, it can be really complicated with music. You wanna get uh, songs that are royalty free or contact a um, an artist and ask if it's okay to use their music in your videos. But also now, which is really different from when I started, on YouTube there is a whole section of music of theirs that you can use, so that's really handy. And then for editing my blog photos, um, now I use Lightroom, which is a really good piece of software for editing photos, photographs. I also love using Photoshop, but they're quite different. Lightroom is very good for, for editing the tones and the light and the darkness, the whites and blacks. Um, for adding grain and things like that. And then in Photoshop, that's where I do all my getting rid of blemishes and um, I, I lighten and contrast in there as well. But yeah, for my blog photos, I don't do that much. I usually just lighten them up or add uh, a bit of exposure. Yeah, I mean, that goes a lot more in depth. You know, you'd have to sit with me and go through every little tweak and everything, but hopefully that's helped somehow. <laughs> and that's what I usually do for my YouTube, blog and Instagrams. Let me know if you found this video helpful and if there's any more questions or anything that I've missed just leave them in a comment down below and I'll try and reply to you guys down below thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon <laughs> I'll see you soon with another normal video of mine but hopefully this can help some people that want to start out doing YouTube and that just maybe just wondered what I use and all that jazz so bye